G'day, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is uh, episode two on the RD350LC. We'll um, pull the engine out today, strip it down, and uh, get the crankshaft away to get rebuilt. I'll show you some bits that I've got. Righto, so we've got a gasket set, we've got crank bearings, labyrinth seal, I had to wait for those to come from uh, yam bits, so I haven't been able to do any work on this thing. I didn't want to strip it apart and uh, leave it all in bits on the bench while I didn't have these bits, so we might as well get it all down to the uh, machinist all in one hit. Crank seals, got some uh, nice rod kits there, a couple of piston kits, got the Pro-X pistons, really nice pistons good product great parts used them a lot have good faith in them so uh, i've got the cylinders there so we'll knock them apart take them down to the machinist to get reboard for the 0.25 oversize we went for so uh, i think that'll clean it up um and yeah so we'll get this donk out and split it get the crank out and have a look at her gearbox bearings and things like that. See if it needs anything else. So uh, let's just get into it. Start stripping it. cranks out we'll uh, give it a clean up take that down to the machinist and uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll knock these apart and um, take them down as well right we got the crank all rebuilt 
these up. So we've got new con rods fitted, um, crank bearings, labyrinth seal, got some new crank seals and everything there. I've had all the gearbox out, inspected that, washed all the cases. Um, as you can see, got some battle scars there, but that'll be okay. Um, got a few comments on, uh, you know, not showing the pistons and stuff, so here. Yeah. That's the good side. Looks normal. This is the uh, other side, and that fell out of the case. So that's a, a roller, flattened out roller. You can see the pistons just all pummeled on the top there. Rings are welded in, but doesn't have any grooves. You know, there's a couple of little scratches there, but bugger all. It um, came out unscathed, really. Like, I mean, it's the piston is buggered, but you would have thought there'd be just grooves up and down that for to lose all the rollers out of the conrod. Yeah, this is the cylinder uh, reboard. We went 0.25, as you can see. Came up beautiful. No marks in there. 0.25. Cleaned it up. So the grooves in the uh, in the cylinder were not that bad. So 0.25. You know, first oversized piston. Um, we're using the Pro X pistons. So you know, first oversized from standard. Anyway, we'll get this thing, start piecing this thing back together. It's been a while, so hopefully I can remember how it all goes. So we'll slot the crank in, glue her up, put the other half on, and uh, yeah, let's get her all bolted up and get it back in the frame.
Okay, now we're starting to get towards the pointy end on this deal. Um, we're just going to go through a couple of things. So there was a few comments as to why this has uh, done a conrod. Now there was your filters blocked in your uh, oil tank. Well, this doesn't have any filter at all in the tank. I drained the tank and had a look in there and all it's got is a plastic spout that comes off. There is no gauze filter or anything in there. So, and I've replaced all these lines with clear lines, same as what I did with the other uh, bike, that RD400. So you can see what's in the lines. So no filter in there, that didn't cause it. Which I don't think it's oil pump failure. All the oil, all the lines full of oil, as you can see, they're all, it's been dripping all over my bench. Um, they're hard as rocks as well, so replaced all them with clear lines. So this one's actually got um, little clear uh, windows in the side there. So when you put it on full throttle, you can see that little, that little dimple in the slide come up to the top. And if we look on here, you'll see the pointer lining up, lining up with the, uh, you'll see the pointer there lining up with the dot. So that's oil pumps timed. I've bled the oil pump. We're all full of oil. I've pumped oil through the lines, bled all those. So um, that should be nearly ready. I'm just going to put some coolant in it, uh, some gearbox oil, oh man that's tight, but it's getting there, it's nearly ready for a start, so put some gearbox oil in it, and coolant, and we'll go from there. Okay here we go, first start up. Yeah, chuck some fuel, bit of choke. How many kicks you reckon? Two. <laughs> One. Sounds nice. Well, there you have it. That sounds really good. There's nothing better than a new crankshaft, rebore, piston rings, all that stuff. No rattles, no nothing. Just uh, there's nothing better than that sound. But uh, we've got a little coolant leak here. That top hose clamp going to the top of the radiator there is not happy. So we'll address that. And uh, I don't know whether we should go for a ride or not. But we'll uh, fix a couple of things up first and then uh, we'll see how we go.
so that was just a nice little gentle uh, test ride there. We didn't want to go uh, too hard on the on the old girl, fresh engine and all. Uh, rides beautiful as expected. Sounds great. We'll um, just check over a few things, uh, make sure there's no water leaks, oil leaks, things like that. Um, I've had a quick little look. All looks dry. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I think we'll hand it over to the owner now and um, let him do whatever he needs to do with it. So ride it, enjoy it. So as always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit all them notification buttons and things like that. Um, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.